This time I'm going to be building Culver's Restaurant by Walter's Cornerstone series. I don't build very many plastic kits anymore, but I decided what the heck, this looked like fun so I brought it home. As always, I take out the parts and have a look at them, looking for any missing or broken bits. And as expected, this Walter's kit was perfect. It comes pre-colored, and of course the instructions, I do take the time to look at the instructions, and they were perfect for me. Lots of pictures, not too many words. My kind of directions. As with all plastic kits, you're going to need some parts, and most importantly, you need a set of nippers. You want to make sure that you never, never, never break these plastic parts off the backing that will damage them or ruin them. And then, of course, take a few moments after you nip them off, clean them up. Now, the way Walters works, it's almost idiot proof. They make these parts so they can only go one place in one way, which is a good thing. And, of course, for the glue, less is more. You want to use the very least amount of glue as possible, especially around windows, put the glue just on the edges. And you can start making these sub assemblies, but make sure they're true and square and have lots of handy helpers around. Oh, there's no such thing as too many handy helpers. I have a whole slew of these handy helpers, all kinds of weights and rubber bands and squares and different pieces of wood and metal that I can use to hold things up. Oh yeah, don't forget lots of different types of clips and things like that. And what's really nice about this Culver's kit, a number of the things are pre-colored. You don't have to use decals, anything like that. They come just like this and all you have to do is put the kit together. I'd say this kit is downright easy. Now the one thing I did have a problem with are the umbrellas for the outside tables. Now I would suggest that you glue the hole to the umbrella and let it sit for an extended period of time before you put the tables together. They kept falling over on you. Matter of fact, in this picture you can see the umbrellas are all different angles. This kit came out great. I had a lot of fun with it. Almost makes me think it's time to start doing more plastic models. If I were to rate this kit, I would say it it's a high end of beginner, and some of that had to do with the umbrella stands. It came out really nice, really fun, and if you ever get to the Midwest, make sure to stop into Culver's and have some dinner. Have fun, folks. See you soon.